The purpose of the Air Data Inertial Reference System, ADIRS, is to provide air data and inertial information to the EFIS system, the FMGC, and other users. Each ADRU combines an Air Data Reference Computer, or ADR, and a Laser Gyro Inertial Reference System, or IR. The ADR and IR systems of each ADRU operate independently, and failure of one system will not cause failure of the other. The ADR part receives information from aircraft probes and sensors. The ADR part provides various items of air data to the Flight Management and Guidance Computers, FMGC, and other users. The air data provided includes MAC, airspeed, temperature, overspeed warnings, barometric altitude, and angle of attack. The IR part provides inertial data to the FMGC, EFIS, and other users. The inertial data provided includes track, heading, acceleration, flight path vector, aircraft position, ground speed, and attitude. The three ADIRs are controlled through the ADIRs panel, located on the overhead panel. They are initialized through the two MCDUs located on the pedestal, and by two of the switches on the switching panel located at the front of the pedestal. Independent data is supplied by each ADRU. Let's see an example of this. In the EFIS system, ADRU1 supplies the captain's EFIS and ADRU2 supplies the first officer's EFIS. ADRU3 is available as a backup to either EFIS system via the switching panel. Now let's look at the ADIRS control display unit. The panel is divided into two parts, the upper section for the IR and the lower section for the ADR. The three rotary mode selectors have control over both the IR and the ADR. The controls and indicators for the individual ADRUs are grouped and arranged in the following order 1, 3 and 2. Each ADRU has an associated IR mode rotary selector. In the off position, the ADRU is not energized, so ADR and IR data is not available. In the nav position the ADRs are energized. The nav position is the normal mode of operation and full inertial data is provided to the aircraft systems. Each inertial reference unit has an associated indicator. The aligned light comes on steady white when the respective IRU is operating normally in aligned sequence mode. Present position information for IDRS alignment is normally entered via the unit page of the MCDU. This method will be explained later. The type of information displayed is selected with the data selector. The system selector enables the crew to switch the display off or select one of the three ADIRAs for display. We select System 3 for you. Notice that the display now contains the present position or PPAS 
information for a dear three. The wind position indicates the true wind direction and wind speed. The heading position indicates the true heading. With heading selected during IRS alignment, the time remaining until alignment is complete is displayed. This is shown by a TTN, Time to Navigation, indication. The duration is approximately 10 minutes, but it can increase with the aircraft latitude. The status position displays IRU status and guidance to the pilot in abnormal situations. For example, the current display is showing Enter PPOS, asking you to enter the present position of the aircraft. The track and ground speed position indicates the true track and ground speed of the aircraft. The spring-loaded test position tests the lights on the keyboard and produces a test pattern in the main display, as shown.